Yeah. Oh shit, Dick. What's up? Stop. 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 Yo, Michael, what's up, Dick? Yeah. It's your boy, legitimate here, back with another video. And today we are vlogging. I have no idea what I'm gonna film today, but we chilling in the car at Bojangles, about to grub. No cap. What's going on, YouTube? So basically, today I came up with this pretty cool video idea. Um, it's original. I've never seen anyone post this before. But it's basically um, showing you guys how beat my beaters are. So basically, your beater is basically the shoe that you wear absolutely everywhere. You get them scuffed, you get them dirty, you jump in mud in them. You really do not care about the shoe. Um, they still are like a shoe that you would wear no matter what. But they don't look good. They don't look like they used to. And uh, I'm going to get my beater right now. And these are my beaters because they are so beat because I've worn them so much. They were actually my cross country shoes for my junior year. So that's why they're so beat because I literally wore them to run many miles in. So after you run so many miles in a pair of shoes, those shoes are going to become like tore apart. And I'm going to show you them right now. So, yeah. Alright, so my beaters are right in here in this door. Uh, Y'all say hi to Eugene. He's doing just fine, but uh, yeah, they are right here. Um, no sneak peek for you guys. I'm going to show you in a little bit how beat these sneakers are. Hold up. Let me make up my bed real quick. Dang, that was easy. All right, guys. So the surprising thing about my beaters is I actually still have the box. Um, got some assorted stuff in there, but the name of these are Questar TNDs. These are Adidas shoes. And here I have a bunch of magazines and stuff. But I still have like box that's in good condition. And I got these shoes for $65. As I said earlier, they were my cross country shoes. So they're beat to the ground. So here's the first shoe. Okay, these used to be orange and white. And now, as you can tell right here, the midsole is absolutely dirt brown and it absolutely looks disgusting um probably the worst thing about these shoes right now is all over the top of the shoes there's hay because i basically did sh hay in these shoes the other day and it's all in the laces and literally everything and i just think these shoes are absolutely beat <laughs> Okay, also a horrible thing about these shoes, boom, it literally is coming off right there, off of the seams. There is so much damage to the shoe, especially right here, along that, it's just torn apart, and it just turned brown from all the usage. It literally is falling apart, but I mean, it's still wearable right now, so I'm going to keep wearing them. Um, the back is extremely dirty as well. That will not come out for some reason. And then at the bottom, you can tell the heel drag is absolutely awful, especially just for running. The bottoms aren't that dirty, honestly, but just like everything else is pretty beat. So out of 10, 10 being the most beat and one being the least, I'm gonna give these like an eight, honestly. These are so beat. And here's the second shoe. This is by far the worst one. Uh, because both sides are actually doing this so obviously this side and then obviously the other side as well so these are just like in terrible condition um, you got that dirt like I said earlier all around this this is just torn apart and my friends literally spilled sweet tea on these shoes today so there's sweet tea markings right here literally sweet tea and it's on the bottom too um, the bottom somehow the cleanest part of these shoes as I said there's hay on these as well and um, these are just my beaters the shoes I can put on any day just to um, wear I don't care if they get dirty because they're already beat to the ground and yeah a bunch of scuffs and stuff too that one right there is pretty bad um, it's just a ton of discoloration a ton of scuffs and um, they are in horrible condition they're absolutely beat to the ground and I'm proud to say that I'm going to keep wearing them until they completely fall apart because these are a memory for me. Look at the insides too, literally filled with hay. Um, I don't even know, like these are filled with sweet tea and hay, that's a really bad mixture. Shout out to Chief for 
literally spilling sweet tea on these. But yeah, that was my how beat are your beaters video. Overall, these shoes are probably eight and a half out of ten. Um, this one's an eight, this one's a nine. So both those average out to an eight and a half. These are super dirty, super bad condition. But um, they're my beaters, so I can wear them when I go outside. Whenever I do some type of work, I'm gonna wear these shoes. These are my beaters, and honestly, I still love the shoe. Nothing hype or anything, obviously. But um, my beaters for life. And obviously, I'm gonna move on from this pair when they get in horrible, horrible condition. But for right now, these are still my beaters because they're still in one piece of some sort. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I came up with this myself. So it was kind of original, not really a long video, but um, yeah. These are my beaters, the Questar TNDs with this cloud foam midsole. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you stick to the end, comment down below, hey, H-A-Y, hey. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If um, y'all guys like the editing, I'm using my computer to edit now. Comment down below if you think my editing was good on this or not. But um, hope you guys have an amazing day. And let's get this video to 11 likes. And as always, peace out.